Right, so today we're going to have a look at the uh, Haswing Cayman B uh, GPS uh, version. Um, it's an upgrade from the version that I had last year, uh, which wasn't the GPS version. So um, basically a quick, quick run through uh, electric engine. So it's a bow mounted, front mounted, uh, front mounted motor. And um, basically, at the minute it's actually on spot lock, so I'll just turn it off. The basic functions of a bit electric is you've got a pedal here that you press that lifts it up locks in position uh, and obviously to, to release it exactly the same spin it around in the collar and it's in position on on the uh, on the unit itself is a there's a little gauge that shows you uh, the battery life 100 percent 50 percent 20 percent um, and apparently it's some uh, long longer lasting uh, efficient motor don't know anything about it but that's what that's what they they claim um, I've got no issues I've got a marine leisure battery and it lasts me all day easily. I've, I've never actually run out of charge, but I always do charge it up because I, I don't want to uh, run out of battery. Um, this version uh, is, is an upgrade version. It's got a, um, a quick release bracket, which basically you pull the pin out, which enables you to lift the full unit off and then back on again. Um, and obviously the other thing we've got is remote control. So you turn it on. Adjust your speeds, adjust your direction, and there you go, electric motor. Right, so just using the uh, the hand control, uh, the handset, pretty easy. Um, as you can see, it's got a bit of a bit of speed to it. Really responsive, really manoeuvrable. Um, it allow you to get into places. You obviously won't you won't be driving about like this all the time. I'm obviously doing it in lunatic mode, but. Really, uh, really good. And just using the controller, you can do pretty much everything. Um, however, um, one of the key features of the GPS model is the spot lock and the, the, the waypoint route system that you can do. Everyone's got a smartphone these days. You download the Helmsman app, and uh, on this app you can basically quickly um, spot lock it now that's good but this again like i said it's not the best day because it's not windy but this is going to hold me in position now and then also what you can do is what we'll have a look at next is you can do the uh set up a route which will allow you to fish a certain position so um we'll, we'll, we'll cut to that now and we'll show you what i mean right so as i mentioned before uh, the gps model's got an extra feature on it um which is the the spot locking and the and the route uh, waypoint following well, track, tracking system basically so this this remote control quick look at it faster slower left right on and off basically and the rocket is basically full speed ahead uh, and that's that's your control of it we're going to put that away we're going to use the phone so you download the, the helmsman app as i mentioned earlier and this is a feature that um i don't think uh, on some of the other systems so the other, other units you can get instead of a uh, um, has wing as you can buy the Minn Kota and uh, what's it with the eye pilot what's it called uh, anyway. motor guide motor guide yeah so you, um, you can buy those and if you've got a, a hummingbird system like this one um, I can't remember which way around it is but one of them connects to it I think it's uh, motor guide anyway but you can connect it to that system and then you can do waypoint and your target and all this kind of stuff and you can make it do something but I'm not an expert on that and I'm not going to go into it uh, what this one does is it doesn't link um, to your fish finder uh, but because the difference between it is this is less than 700 quid for this unit um, whereas the motor guides are like two grand or something so it, it, this is a cheaper version so it's not quite as functional with these top end uh, fish finders right so we're going to do as a uh, little waypoint route so we've got the app open I've already programmed in a route, you can see there, 1 to 10. And we're going to just f try and follow a route to, so we can fish along this, this tree line. So what I basically we're doing now, you can see I'm just downstream of it. Click on number 1, click on number 1 again. Start autopilot from waypoint 1, yep. It loads the route up, completed, it's now going to take us to that spot. If I... You just flick up on the, like this little compass thing 
and it'll sort of change, well it, it changes speed basically. So We're a little bit south of where we need to be so we'll speed it up fast and it'll get us there pronto. You can see the but it's turning the boat round, it's taking us where we want to go, I'm not doing anything, not controlling anything now. Hands free and off it goes, takes us upstream to where we want to go. And up, up here basically we've got a, a, a tree line with some stumps around it, we're going to fish that. We'll fish it with jerk baits just because I like fishing with jerk baits. So we're getting close to number one so I'll just slow it down and we can set the pace we want. Right, you can see Neil's fishing, the ass wing's doing its job, taking us on a nice steady cruise. Today's a perfect day for this kind of stuff, it's really, really um, low breeze. Um, but I'll do another video, another point, and show you in windy conditions to compare um, and see how it copes. Today, we're on, we're on basically a slow speed, so we want to fish in these spots here. The Neil's put a, put a cast in there. Now, if you're drifting downstream, we're going upstream at the moment, by, by the way. If you're drifting downstream, if there's a bit of a breeze on, you drift past these spots far too quickly. So, um, I think by using the electric, you can spend a bit more time fishing spots. Other thing is, we can both fish, can't we? Yep, exactly. You're not constantly adjusting yep. the engine and... Well, which we're going to do now, I'm going to start fishing myself, yep. so... Straight into a tree. <laughs> so I can delete that bit out, obviously. <laughs> you don't want to put that bit in there. That's the cast I'm going to keep in. Just add pike. Yep. So I've put it on the slowest speed at the moment, and we'll we'll just see if, if between us we think we'll talk to each other, me and Neil, and we'll say speed it up, slow it down. Like I said, depending on the flow of the river, depending on the wind conditions, you might want to speed it up or slow it down. Uh, you might be finding that you're in a, an open spot with nothing, so you let's move forward a bit more. So you'll speed it up. Um, so what you could do if you put it on, I think it's on one speed at the moment, stick it on two or three and it'll allow us to fish this spot really, really fast. But with two of us, we're going to put quite a few casts in and we'll cover. If we start to get a few fish, we can slow it down and, and fish it more accurately on one speed. But if you were drifting on this downstream, you, you basically, you're low. It's upstream and you're downstream and you're not fishing properly. By the time you want to get your second cast in, you pass the first bush and the second bush even. And especially if it's windy. Um, yeah, let's see how we go. Should be perch fishing. Should, mate. Bit of perch in there. Could be. Got to set up and have another run through it. You know? Smaller stuff if needs to be. Yeah. Can't imagine why there won't be some pike sat in there as well, though. So baby yeah. perch, take it. Take so it's it, just got to come up and nail that. Yeah, little, little perch, mate, are about as big as Rapala. <laughs> Said there'd be perch in there, though, didn't we? Yeah. <coughs> Fisker? Yes! He likes the pike. <laughs> Oh, it's got a big... Yeah, it's got like a cut on it. Yeah. Big saw thing on it. It's like so much grabbed it. Oh, my poor pike. Me! Oh. That finger spitting its gill raker. And the prickly bits. Yeah. Nasty gal, is that in it? Yeah. Yeah, mate. Nasty, nasty, nasty. Mmm. Oof. Go on, kid. Looks like it's had one of that, you know, them get them growths on them sometimes. Yeah. And it's bust or something. As you can see, the engine's still doing its job. Taking us upstream, nice and steady. At a steady pace. Follow up a perch, we picked the pike up. And it just allows us to fish, especially the you know the guy who's at the engine end 
guy was driving the boat like myself today, you know. Previous times you're always messing with the engine, trying to correct yourself, drifting, boat spinning round, crossing over each other's lines. Now we've got a perfect steady route upstream. We can fish this buff, fish this spot. And it's just again it's just pleasure fishing now, isn't it? Rather than frustrating fishing, getting getting tangled, having to sort boat out all the time. It just allows you to fish it properly. It will, it will put more fish on, on boat, won't it? Yep. Because you've just got more fishing time. Birch. Birch, there. Birch, take it, take it. <laughs> you know it was as big as you. Loads <laughs> as big as... Biggest perch, you're still trying to take it. <laughs> See that little, I've, got, I've got one as well. Where do they come from? I don't know. I'm almost, almost, in, then. almost exactly the same size, come up and whack mine. I did, I saw you, I saw that with fish. Yeah, yeah. I was shaking some weed off. And <laughs> I shook weed off and then the little pike just run up and hit it. Well, swam up, they don't run. See if I can get him again. I was looking for my next cast. And then just happened to look back and saw a pike coming at me. Just kid. <laughs> <laughs> Go find your mate because he's over there somewhere. So as you can see now, we've got to the end of his route, we've got to number 10 on his, on his uh, little waypoint route that we planned, and it's just holding us in position now. It'll just stay here until we take control again. So that's a look at the uh, Haswing Cayman B GPS. Um, as you saw there, the, the best feature for, for us that we've found so far is this little waypoint um, tracking system that we've got. Uh, program a route. I do it when I'm at home or when I'm on lunch break at work. I just zoom in and look at somewhere. I think that look, looks a bit fishy. It's a bit like Google Maps on your on the on the app. You zoom in, pick a tree line or whatever, and just you know, big bend in a river or something, and just plot a route. And then when you get there, fish it. Um, remember to name your routes because it gets complicated. Because I've got loads of routes in my, in the system now, so I give them a little nickname. It's easier to find them then. And uh, and yeah, and if you go this order, we picked up a couple of fish. And uh, we'll do that. We'll whatever we think it's, it's fishy. We'll pick. We'll we'll build up routes. Find a new spot, and away you go. And yeah, so um, we'll do this again on a windy day, so you can see the difference. Because it's really calm today. We've got we've got a uh, flat calm day and a bit of sun coming out later. Today. So we'll do. I'll do another video later for spot lock and um, uh, the route on a on a windy day, so you can see the difference. But uh, if you're interested in buying this this uh, product, uh, I, we do I do sell it on the River Biker shop. Um, send me a message um, and I'll explain you know what you need and what what will suit you but I, I do recommend getting the uh, quick release bracket um, I've not used a foot pedal but I, I don't find I need it uh, other things to to get a bit fidge, bit faffy chargers for your uh, for your phone and also for the controller so I forgot to charge my controller up but as long as I've always got some Little power packs in my boat. And just charge up your handset. And that, that's it. Yeah, great little system. We're uh, makes it makes our fishing a lot easier, a lot better, a lot more enjoyable. So hope that helps a few people who've been asking asking questions about it.